everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekend vlog in my life living in new york city we are starting right away on a friday evening i got home from work a few hours ago and now i am picking up the camera because i'm gonna cook some dinner tonight i decided to make a meal for my partner and i and cooking is not something that i typically enjoy i'm more of like a baker and he is the chef in the relationship i have been so lazy with cooking like all year long i just feel like i haven't cooked a meal like a real meal you know i've made pasta ravioli like easy prep things salads a lot but like cooking cooking i haven't done in a while so i feel like it's time and i bought all the ingredients so we're just gonna do it <laughs> but before we get started i do just want to say thank you all for your sweet comments about my accident i'm feeling so much better it's amazing what just a week's time can do but i'm super grateful for all of your concern i'm truly truly doing really well physically my hand and knee like i still feel them when i put pressure on them but like otherwise i feel normal got like some lasting emotional trauma now from the accident but you know we just got to keep it moving keep pushing and that's what we're gonna do so let's get to this meal i'm gonna be cooking some shaved beef steak over rice and i think it's gonna be good ready the rice is ready we kind of have like a stir fry of sorts i'm just hoping it tastes good <laughs> we'll see now that dinner's ready i'm gonna go ahead and shower and change into some comfy clothes and then we'll be ready to eat Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. I just got ready for a workout class. I like to do weekends in my life living here in New York City, um, but I'm not sure how interesting this one's gonna be because it's gonna be raining literally the entire weekend nonstop. So it's gonna be a lot of home time, but I'm still getting out there for a workout. So I figured why not just vlog it. And I wanted to show you my outfit because I've been really into color lately and I've been buying new workout clothes that just add a pop of color. I feel like I was always a neutral girl, but now I'm just enjoying color. Okay, so I'm just wearing this pink little like crop top. It's loose fitting, which I like. And then these teal blue um, yoga pants or leggings. And I really like that they have pockets in them. And then to match, I've got some Nike pink socks that are like ombre. And I just think it's such a cute fit. As I said, I'm loving the color.
and yet again we had another great saturday workout despite the rain we had an in-house dj and some mimosas after class i think they just wanted to make it feel special because it was a brand new workout but we crushed it even though it was hard i'm super sweaty i've got to go shower and we'll see what we get into for the rest of the day but like i said it is very rainy out so it's likely going to be an indoor kind of day but we'll see. I've changed since my workout and we're supposed to be going to brunch, but my honey has other plans. He is wanting to start a project right now and I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, we're using a drain weasel to clean the drain and the tub because the hair is just filling up. <laughs> it's grabbing it. Oh no, that's so bad. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is a head full of hair right there. <laughs> I know this is the content no one asked for, but let's see how it works. Oh yeah. She's draining people. Amazing. Guys, this is the real deal. If you want your drains clean, get the drain weasel. It really works though, I'm actually quite shocked. that little brunch it was actually really nice we went to a place called bakery right in Williamsburg or was it Greenpoint like the Williamsburg Greenpoint area and it was really cute we tried to go there once before but I think it was like too long of a wait so it was nice that we got in this time all the food there was so delicious especially the baked goods but afterwards he dropped me home and then we parted ways just so that we can both get some errands done my errands literally just include decluttering the apartment because I do this like very often I feel like it just comes with the territory of living in a small apartment but it really all started because I bought a few pairs of shoes um, and I got them in. The first are some Nike shoes. You all know how I love my Metcons. And I bought a new pair. So I didn't realize this, but when you're training like four to five times a week, they recommend that you change your sneakers like every four to six months. And had I not known that, I would have kept them for a year or more, like until they showed signs of deterioration. But I did notice like some discomfort and my feet were starting to feel like unsupported so I'm retiring my black ones and I wanted another neutral pair but I didn't want to get the same ones over so I picked up this pair in white and what I like about them is that they have this like neutral color at the base so I can wear with like more beige colors they also have a hint of pink so I thought these would be a good pair to go with everything, but they also have a splash of color. I'm really happy with those. And then I also showed these on my Instagram, but I picked up these cute little booties from Zara. I thought these were so cute. They're the perfect heel height, not too tall, like very comfortable, perfect for fall. And they were only 50 bucks, so I thought that was a steal. But the kicker is that I have no space in my apartment to store them, so I was like, it's time, I gotta get rid of something. I used to be so good at sticking to the rule where like, if you bring something in, something has to go. But lately I've just been buying and not purging, so I've gotta get back to it. As you all know, I've been storing most of my shoes in this little wardrobe closet in my room, but it's just getting so full, so I've really gotta figure something out so that I can fit my two new pairs. Okay, you guys, it's a little bit later and I managed to collect a few shoes that I just had to be real with myself about I don't wear them often. This one I never even wore once. It's this like pink cute jelly heel. It's really nice. I just never had the opportunity to wear this. So I'm going to sell them maybe on Poshmark. I have some sneakers that are in decent condition. 
I just don't wear them anymore. And then this one makes me sad. <laughs> these Dr. Martens, I remember saving up for these platform shoes, but they just always fit me a bit tight. So I tried to like break them in twice and I just couldn't do it. So these are going to. The good thing is that now we've made room for the Metcons. I also picked up two jackets in that same order that I placed for the Zara boots. And I feel like I need your help. This first one I think is a no-brainer. I absolutely love it. Got it in a size medium. It's this like gray, almost like a cropped style jacket. Um, it fits me super well. I feel like it's fitted and I, I could have gone up a size for like a more oversized look, but I'm actually not mad about it. I really like this jacket style. So I'm definitely keeping this one. I think it's more so the second one that I'm unsure about. So I've really been wanting a bomber for the fall season. Specifically, this navy color spoke to me. I feel like a lot of people have bombers like in black, gray, olive green, but navy you don't see so often. I love the jacket. I love the fit. I love the material. Everything's perfect except that the shoulders are padded and I hate that. I already have broad shoulders. I don't need the extra padding. I just, I don't know if I can get over it. Thing is, I'm wondering if I can get them like taken out. I feel like it would have to be professionally done. Like they would have to unstitch it and maybe remove the padding. But otherwise I love the jacket, so I would really want to keep it. It was $89 and I picked it up in a large so it could be a little bit big. Do you think this is fixable? Like can I take the padding out or should I just return it? Good morning friends, another day, another workout, so let's get to it. Hey you guys, so I've been back from F45 for a little while now. I showered, got changed, had some lunch and my protein shake. I've been doing some things, but I just wanted to come back on to show you a few new things that I got for the apartment. I picked them up from my package room earlier when I got home and I already took them out of the packaging. I wanted to get them cleaned and washed before putting them out. So I just finished a small load of laundry and now I'm ready to show you. The first item is a bath mat and I currently just have a plain white bath mat in my bathroom, nothing special. But checkered print has been trendy for such a long time now and I don't have anything checkered, I don't think. But when I saw this online, I liked it and I thought this would be nice and cozy for the fall season. So I picked it up. This is from Amazon, by the way. Both things are from Amazon. So they came super quickly, of course. But I really like just how fluffy it is. I'm already feeling how soft it is and it definitely feels good on the hands so I know it's gonna feel good on the feet but let's go ahead and try to put this in my bathroom and see how it looks as you can see this is the one I currently have but it's quite plain and I'm just ready for something different All right, here is the new checker print rug. I really like it. The only thing is I'm not so sure about this placement. I just feel like it looks too cluttered in this area. And then everything else doesn't have much decor around it. So I might move it. I was thinking it could look good like underneath my sink instead of right by my bathtub. I know it kind of defeats the purpose of having a bath mat right when you like step out of the shower but I really like this so much better already. Yeah, I love it like this so much better. It just makes it so that this is the first thing that you see when you come on in and it's just so inviting, so fall, so cozy. I love that. All right, the bathroom's taken care of. I'm glad we figured that out. Also, while we're here, I wanted to show you guys the picture frame is still up for those of you who have been asking if the command strips worked. They absolutely did. It's still going strong and I love the way it looks here. Now the next thing that's been feeling pretty blah to me lately is this throw blanket that I've had draped over this chair for the longest time. It's still good. It's from Amazon. I like the concept of it but I feel like the colors are just a bit dull. And I don't know, it doesn't add anything to this area. It just kind of blends in, not really loving it. So I picked up a new throw blanket. Here's what that looks like. And again, it still matches with the chair, but I feel like 
it's not as dull as this one for some reason i just don't i'm not loving this one but the best part about it is that it is reversible so on one side you have more of this like brown color with the cream lines on it and then on the other side it's cream with brown lines on it love that so i've been thinking i could either like drape it over like this can you see that so here's one way it could go which i think is cute but then i could also do this or i could even have it so that both sides are showing a little bit i kind of like that idea maybe something like that i've got to play around with it and see how it looks best <laughs> how I have it for now I wanted it to look like I just kind of threw it down and this is how it naturally fell but I also wanted to make sure to show both sides so I really like that and I think it just completes this area super nicely I also toned down this table a lot I just left it with books and a candle before I had my big ZZ plant that I now moved back to my bathroom she just thrives there so much more she was starting to die um, and then my boyfriend draped over this plant it's looking crazy it's like spider webbed all over but the plant actually likes being like that it's been growing new leaves here is one of them let's see if i can find more baby pieces oh here's another little baby one all the way across my tv also i placed this pillow over here instead of on my couch because the couch is getting too full and i think it creates a nice cozy moment there and we finally have some sunshine. I am loving the fact that the sun is out again. All right, now I'm going out to dinner for the evening, so I'm on my third outfit of the day. I'll go ahead and show you that. Crop top, some jeans from Abercrombie, my new Converse. And then I'm gonna throw this little shacket over top. It's like a cropped shacket from Zara, and we're ready to go. dessert i made the viral cottage cheese strawberry ice cream i've already tried it it's pretty good super creamy and i'm just gonna top it with some graham cracker pieces and put it in this cone and we'll be good to go here she is the perfect little treat after a nice evening so good and healthy <laughs> Thanks to my Ninja Creamy, getting my competitions worth. 